In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to go from noob to pro in Zo Samurai. So before we even get into the combat, there are just some things that you need to do that will just automatically make you guys better, like right off the bat. Like I'm talking, you don't even need to practice any skills yet. These are just some things that you need to do and it will automatically make you better. I promise you. All right. So the first thing that we're going to have you do is lower your graphic settings, bro. I get it. I get it. I get it. Even if you have like a really good PC and whatnot, I get it. Like it's a flex. Cool, cool, cool. You want to play on max graphics. I mean, I get it. The game looks good good but i'm telling you right now the reason that you want to lower your graphics is because it gives you a lower input delay and if you don't know what an input delay is it's basically like if i pull out my sword and then i go to slice like how fast like the game will react to my click you know what i mean i'm trying to explain it in like a very basic term so like anybody can understand or if i were to press r like the time from me pressing the key to the time that the action is completed that's kind of what like the input delay is right so when you have a lower graphic settings which by the way specifically you want to be at three okay this is exactly where you want to put it this is where i play on i make a ton of tiktoks at this graphic setting this is what i plan to get like the best frames like right now i'm getting 200 and well about like 300 fps you know like it looks good it's good and the game still looks good because zo overall looks good now if you're a content creator and you want your clips to be a little bit more on the graphic side while still giving you good frames play on five and this goes across the board i'm talking fps games specifically even like a ton of different games play on five graphics and it'll give you a ton of more fps i still am averaging over 200 for the most part while also still the game is is good has shadows and stuff like that you know so it kind of looks like being on max graphics but like it's lower and on five you know but for this video i'm going to be recording fully on three tip number two okay this one is important as well although to a lot of people that are watching this video it'll probably be super basic and you probably are already doing it use shift lock okay go into your settings turn shift lock on and then press left control all right press left control so this is what it looks like when i'm not on shift lock you try to fight people it looks like this it's kind of just like messy if, if you play like this this is probably why you're losing a lot you're gonna want to turn on shift lock it looks a lot better a lot cleaner now i can like smoothly look you know this is how i record my tiktoks it's nice it's nice it's a lot easier also too you can play zoomed out while in shift lock so if you're worried about not being able to see and stuff trust me you'll be able to look a lot faster while also being zoomed out it's just overall better so if you're not doing this yet do it bro and the third tip is going to be to learn to read your opponent okay and what i mean by that is learning when to swing learning when to block and just learning how to break a block and stuff like that just knowing what to do in the situation here we have kratos the god of war obviously helping us out with this to learn how to fight i mean who else better than that all right so if you guys have a player who approaches you at the plate like this where their sword is just kind of out and they're, you know, they're just kind of swinging. They're kind of like starting to do some spamming and stuff. And so if they just keep spamming and you don't know how to get in, go for a block and then boom, swing. Because what's going to happen there is you'll perfect block them. They'll have like a sort of different reaction where their, their sword just bounces back a little bit and they can't swing right away. And boom, it opens you up to strike. All right. There is another type of player too that is also annoying to fight against. Instead of being a spammer, you'll get against the people who just sit there holding the block, like literally the whole time. And they'll just be moving around, just holding the block, waiting for you because that's what they're trying to do to you is have you swing, bounce off the sword, and then they can just strike. So what you got to try to do there is just use your movement to get around and then break the block and slice boom just like that bro and that is kind of going to lead us into the fourth tip is that you need to learn to equip and unequip your sword it is essential to having good and pro movement so as you can see kratos right there is taking out his sword putting it back and that is how you move around quickly while being able to fight just like this all right now let's do this bro let's show you guys how to have a proper fight go Oh, I mean, guys, of course I was going to lose, bro. He's, he's the God of War, like realistically. Alrighty, and the fifth and final tip of this video that will take you from a noob level to a pro player automatically, okay? And I know it's going to be super simple. Is honestly just going to be to turn on show hitboxes. The reason why this is important is because once you turn it on, you're able to see like your actual hitbox of the sword. And I'm not even gonna lie, like for one, it honestly just kind of looks cool. Like when I started making content on TikTok, I used it because I realized it kind of looks like I'm using like a breathing style. Cause at the time I had just started watching Demon Slayer and I was like, geez, it kind of looks like a breathing style. And like when I slice through people, it looks like an extra like trail of blood. You know what I mean? Like for the cinematic video purposes. So I don't know, bro, like try it out. It honestly helped me learn like the hitboxes. And then once you learn these, you know, like you can 
turn and stuff and you add in the turns and that's how you can kill like multiple people at once in the game and stuff like that and it's just i don't know it's honestly a really helpful tip i highly recommend doing all five of the things that i said because those things alone you will see a dramatic increase in your skill but if you guys want a video specific to just combat tips let me know in the comment section down below bro big shout out to paul from my discord for helping me with this video as well as all the comments that are popping up on the screen now i forgot to put them in my last couple of videos and i said that i would put them in the next video and the next video and i forgot so i'm just throwing them up on the screen right now as i'm rambling and whatnot anyways it's been your boy wicked and i'll see you guys in the next video peace